Almost set. 1600 the journey. Starting point of the railway, they're racing in the first, and uh, the Masters has begun. The first to get going, Solorski, and also out quickly is Black Line from Like a Butterfly and Astronomite with Red Paddy, who will settle behind the pace with Juicing Carrots. Giraffe is well back in the early stages, three wide, fighting for a bit more rain. It's over on the outside of Miracle Man, and back last a ball is Ravelli. Solorski had them running hard, and through the first 400, they've completed. Solorski took off and shot away with a big lead going out to the riverside of the track, led by five lengths over the mere black line. A further three, Astronomite. Then a further five, like a butterfly. Gee, this is a strung out lot. Giraffe quickly around the outside, improved after being back there third from last in front of Juicing Carrots. Over towards the inside is the roughy Red Paddy, Miracle Man and Lane had Ravelli back last of all as they come along past the 700. Well, he's wasted no time. Noski with Solorski and Solorski lit up like a Christmas tree in front. 600 to go, led by five black line, a further four Astronomite boys going to take a bit of catching then came Giraffe, followed further back behind those Juicing Carrots, Miracle Man and then Ravelli still second from last on the outside of Red Paddy as Noski goes to work now he sits down and he's starting to ride along Solorski, black line coming after it though they're a day in front of the others at the 250 and black line ranged up stuck a nose in front from Solorski Giraffe behind them, Ravelli is still running on, they come to the 150 it's black line getting away two in front Ravelli charging down the outside. It's closing, says so Miracle Man. Ravelli flying. They split the line tight. Go on the rail, Black Line or Ravelli. Ravelli or Black Line. Astronomite Miracle Man close up for third as well as Giraffe. And right behind them then came Juicing Carrots. Solorski stopped abruptly, followed then by Like a Butterfly and Red Paddy. It's a photo. Wow. Great start to the Masters. Black line, Ravelli cutting it down with every stride. The leaders were off their feet. Black line having to take it up and set after the tearaway leader, Solorski. Back last was Ravelli, was charging for Damien Lane. Miracle Man was getting a split in the centre. But number six has held on, Black line. Number six, Black line, written by Joe Azapati has just won from Ravelli, Damian Lane, and Miracle Man third, William Pike. 6-7-3 with Astronomite fourth and Giraffe fifth. The nose are long head margins. And it was a thriller to start the day with Black Line scraping home in the Zito family colours along with the Dash Racing Syndicate. A mare by Blackfriars from Nishikawa, trained by Simon Miller, it has a strong hand later on in the day and written by Joe as a party who's now out there and about to be joined by Brittany Taylor after scraping home on black line from Ravelli in the first for the day, Brit very much and Joey always nice to open the account on Railway Stakes Day with a winner but this mare she's been a little bit unreliable with punters did you have a good gut feeling today? Yeah I did look I think the race the way it panned out really suited her um, up to the mile where she could just bowl along um, she got the others off the bit early and she was able to continue her run all the way to the line. On the line, it was a tight go in the end. What did you think? To be honest, I wasn't confident. Um, we were stopping, um, but luckily enough, we held on. Who's the best for the remainder of the day, Joey? Um, probably Prying Tom. Uh, this was my best, so I haven't got a lot left. All right, well, best of luck and congratulations on this one. Thank you. Um, it could be a big, big day for the Ascot trainer. And Simon Miller joins us. Black Lion, the boys are happy, and that was a good performance by this daughter of Black Friars. Yeah, really good, actually. Um, I've got a little ding in my car, so surely I can lean on them now on Monday, the, the J&M Smash Repairs. But uh, good filly, and um, every time I think I've got to figure it figured out, she throws in a doozy, and then I've got to go back to the drawing board. But she has had a lot of issues when she was young. Um, I always thought she'd get a mile. I took her out to a mile one day, and I thought she was a bit plain. And then 12 months later, you look at the form and missile launch knocked us off. So we had to come back. And this, it's always nice to race on stakes day for the owners. And this looked like a nice race. She didn't handle your class start. We confident in the run, especially when Noski said, catch me if you can with Solorski today. Yeah, it's hard. I mean, someone's got to be brave enough to make the, make the move up or cart the field. And actually, it was us for where we were in running. I was confident on the turn because we loomed up so easy. But then you just know that the back markers have to come into it. And... 
I saw Walshy steaming at me and I said to him in the mountain yard pre-race, good luck, but not too much luck. So uh, we'll join forces now, but we're uh, enemies for that one. When you started today, would you imagine that Black Line would have been one of your strong winning chances as we move on now for the rest of the day? It could just be a big day for SA Miller. It could be. We, we aim to show off on this day, Greg Radley and myself, my co-trainer, and uh, we've hit the ground running. So I've got three weeks and he's pretty quick on figuring out the 5% too. Well, good luck for the rest of the day and job well done with Black Line here. Thanks, Gareth. There we go. There's Simon Miller. Joe has a party combined with the first and that is a popular victory. So six. Ravelli second, Miracle Man third, Astronomite was a good effort fourth, and Giraffe was fifth. That's the first race, 135.89, done and dusted here on Railway Stakes Day.